Even Hamburg's most outlying districts have been incorporated into this work of art, in which mighty beams of light crisscross all over the city. Exactly 90 minutes after sunset, the urban landscape becomes a projection space for British artist Anthony McCall. Crossing the Elbe is the name of his minimalist installation. It's a quite humid day, and uh, when that that gives us this slight opening out of the beam. Uh, on a drier day, we'll have more of a pencil. And on a very, very humid day, we'll have it quite spread. And um, for me, it's working very well. I'm very... Um, the fact that it doesn't move is very important, I think. Uh, it's completely static for 21 minutes. For the next year, the residents of Hamburg will see the light installation as this animation shows, wherever they are in the city. But they'll only be able to see part of it. And that's the core to Anthony McCall's concept, a very reduced project. One's understanding of what the work is will be built up from dozens and dozens of fragments seen in various ways at various times with different degrees of attention, perhaps, over a whole year. Coming from London, Anthony McCall is well aware of how different life can be north and south of the river. And that's what this artwork is all about. It's a theme that's also picked up at the IBA, or International Construction Exhibition in Hamburg. The show looks at the future of urban planning and how residential building in cities can be both sustainable and financially viable at the same time. The IBA is taking place all over Hamburg, but especially in socially disadvantaged areas, such as Wilhelmsburg. The plan is to equip them for the future and narrow the urban development gap between these districts and the smart inner city areas within the Harbour District. It's about connecting entire districts more closely with Hamburg City, to focus more on areas like Wilhelmsburg and Harburg, which have slipped out of public consciousness in recent decades. And an art project like this is a unique opportunity to put those places back on the map. Using the city as one huge projection space, Anthony McCall draws on some of his early works from the 1970s. Back then, he used liquid gas to fuel fires amid the landscape that would burn for a predetermined amount of time. It was, for me, a way of creating a durational structure over time as much as a thing in space. Time and space are also key factors in his later installations and experimental films. In this work, light rays form geometric figures in a space, creating sculptures of ephemeral light that appear to be palpable but aren't. Anthony McCall's installation in Hamburg is also a reference to works like that, even though, at first glance, the observer might think his latest work is lacking some of the poetry. Anyone who looks closely, as the artist himself does, will delight in the subtle changes. All through the year, the lights will change position once every week, as this animated film shows. The change of position for the beams themselves is because I want the the, the, the lines of light to visit every neighborhood, all the different neighborhoods of, of Hamburg, to move around the city. Um, and um, that's, the, that's the main thing. Art easily makes that leap across the Elbe. And for a year, Anthony McCall's work will remind the people of Hamburg of the city's diversity on both sides of the river. <laughs>